Welcome back to another Ratface 44 Reviews. My name is James, and today we have G.I. Joe Classified Series, Airborne. So let's get this started! So before we get this started, big shout out to DJC Collectibles, best place to get G.I. Joe Classified Series in Canada. Alright guys, so let's go ahead and take a look at the packaging. So as you can see, we have the old packaging here. Awesome packaging. I'm going to miss this packaging a lot. So we have a large window here with Airborne and all of its accessories. Really awesome artwork on the side of the packaging here. Looks very realistic. He looks like he's uh, giving some attitude, which is really awesome. <laughs> um, you got the G.I. Joe logo. Got the Hasbro logo, and you have his full name here, Franklin Airborne Tall Tree. And on the side of the packaging, we have the same artwork in a larger format. G.I. Joe logo, number 115 in the line. And on the back of the packaging here, you got 115. He looks like he's on Easter Island. We got those big head statues here. We got zoom in aspects of some of the details of Airborne here. We got his rank. Uh, kind of tempo here and we have his helmet with the comms we got boring stuff on the bottom attributes that you can barely see and on this side of the packaging we got some blue artwork 115 QR code a little bit bigger attributes right here and then on the top of the packaging we have a nice window here so the light can get in 115 so I have my trusty backup scalpel here. Let's go ahead and open up Airborne and take a look. So here's a quick shot at Airborne in the plastic. Let's go ahead and take the figure and all the accessories out of the packaging. All right guys, so let's go ahead and take a look at the accessories. All right, so first off, we have a tiny little knife done in this gray plastic. And here we have his sidearm with an extended type of barrel done in the same type of plastic some nice little molding details nothing really special here and next we have his uh, night vision uh, this I believe this is from Tunnel Rat also has some nice paint details on the lens kind of a silver blue type of application there are four lenses on there and next we have some goggles done in this same kind of blue tint, silver tint. Very freaking neat. Uh, I believe this one goes around his head. And next we have another set here. It doesn't have any paint applications. Just some OG type of, OD green type of goggles. Uh, I believe this goes around the helmet. And here we have Airborne's weapon. I believe Firefly has this weapon. I believe Airborne should have a different weapon, like an AR or something like that. You see there's like an, a kind of a, a suppressor on the end. Um, yeah. It is removable. We've seen this before, like I was saying. And removable magazine. Done in the same type of dark gray plastic. And here we have Airborne's helmet. As you see, there's some integrated comms in there. Got some straps. Um, you got a port for his night vision. Done in uh, OD green, have some nice technical kind of sculpting on the sides of the helmet. Straps are brown. And I believe this is different from Grunt. Let me know in the comment section down below. And lastly, with the accessories, we have Airborne's backpack. Um, I believe this is exactly the same as Duke. Um, it's painted, uh, I think it's done in brown plastic with a painted shovel on it nice uh, textured sculpting on it nothing really special here got some canisters on the side and obviously a peg so that's it for all the accessories let's go ahead and take a look at the figure so before we look at airborne hit that subscribe button hit that like button make a comment down below it would be greatly appreciated so here we have Airborne all out of his packaging. So let's take a closer look at the head sculpt at the beginning right here. Really awesome. Check out that sculpt. 
He looks like an actual real person. <laughs> uh, some great paint work. Um, he has uh, a little bit of olive type of skin. Um, I don't know if you know, <laughs> he is a Native American, which is really cool. And uh, a lot of people were worried about it, that his skin was a little, little bit too light. But um, yeah, no, he has olive skin. He has black hair. And his tactical type of uh, vest we have right here, it's very uh, well painted and highly detailed. Let's get a little bit of a zoom in here. Check that out. There is uh, kind of a, a light blue. And uh, you can see there's a grenade here. We have uh, brown straps that go around. We got a sheath for his knife. So let's go ahead and just load him up with that knife. It kind of slots right in the bottom. No mistaken. You can't slot it from the top, which is good. And we have a tampo that's kind of like in the middle of his chest right here. Uh, I'm not sure what that is. Looks really cool. Got some pouches. It got a green type of belt. And at here we got some more kind of uh, straps. And he has this kind of um, jumpsuit um, that's all over his body here. It looks like a kind of uh, a tanned type of color. We have a tampo on his shoulder, just like the picture on the back of the box. And on the back, he got some elbow pads here. So this gear that he has on all over his body here, um, is that for, supposed to be for a parachute and whatnot? Halo jumping or whatnot? Let me know in the comment section that he, he should have a backpack or he should have a parachute backpack. So as we move down here, these belts are kind of floating around his middle part. <laughs> Got some pockets sculpted on his pants, kind of like parachute pants. We've got a holster for his sidearm, so we can go ahead and just port that in right now. Fits in perfectly, and the barrel sticks out, which is kind of a little bit weird. <laughs> you got some brown knee pads, and you got some pockets at the bottom of his pants. You got tiny little uh, kind of boots. Um, I don't know if that's proportionate to his body, but I, I feel like he has small feet. Maybe that's just me. You know, this is kind of the standard kind of military boots. Got some laces sculpted in there. And I like the minimalistic uh, aspect of this figure. He looks really cool, and he's OG to the max. Speaking of OG, we'll have a vintage comparison later on in this video. And I forgot to mention about his gloves. They're black gloves. He has these kind of uh, cuffs at the end of his uh, jumpsuit sculpted in there. Overall right now, I, I like this figure. Let's go ahead and gear him up. Let's start off and put his helmet on. See how that fits. Fits really relatively well. Doesn't fall off. And we have his night vision. Let's see how that fits in here. I'm not going to keep that in through the duration of this video. And it is made of a gummy plastic. All these accessories are made of gummy plastic. So the one thing I just noticed that these straps right now are kind of pushing up on the helmet. But I think you need to like maneuver the strap there. So it just ports in just like that. There you have his night vision. We don't need to keep that on. It doesn't stay in very well, unfortunately. I'm not gonna be using that. So his, um, so we got his goggles here that fit right over the helmet. I'm totally gonna leave it just like that. That looks really good. Let's try out the goggles and put it on his head here and see how that fits. I know these are always a little bit tricky to line up on his head. Same with Hawk. And I'm glad it kind of just straps on and it fits in really well just like that. That looks pretty cool. So we could like double up on the on the goggles here. <laughs> 
That looks really cool. So he has two sets of goggles. <laughs> if you don't want to lose them, that's really a good way to store them. So we have his grease gun or submachine gun. Fits in this hand just perfectly. That is really awesome. Take a look at that. So I want to look at some of the uh, articulation of this figure, specifically the butterfly shoulder joints and see how they move. And uh, you get some mobility out of the butterfly joints. Of course, there's going to have hindrance with this vest and holding his weapon with two hands. It's going to be a little tricky, but it might be doable. Yeah, it looks like it, you, can, you can. So I was able to put two hands on his weapon. And of course, the weapon is bending in his hand unfortunately with the gummy weapons so let's continue with the articulation you got a diaphragm I uh, guess uh, at the waist uh, can't really tell with the vest here we got drop down hips we got pinless double jointed knees pinless double jointed elbows you got a low boot cut and let's put on his backpack and it fits perfectly so there's one thing I noticed, there is storage for his suppressor here on the holster. Alright guys, let's go ahead and do a vintage comparison. So I have my vintage Airborne here. Um, this is one of my recent pickups. I think last year I picked this guy up. So let's go ahead and take a zoom in shot of the kind of the color inspiration that the classified had from the vintage. So as you can see, they are wearing blue vests and tan sleeves. Um, there is a tampo on the shoulder, just like the vintage. And the helmet is pretty spot on. It's kind of like one-to-one -one copy. Check that out. Unfortunately, I do not have Airborne's weapon. Um, and I believe it's some sort of AR. But as you can see, they are almost exactly the same. I do like the vintage boots better. They're a little bit taller. So basically classified is directly copying, like usual, the Real American Hero vintage version of Airborne down to the elbow pads and the holster and the uh, parachute straps. So let's go ahead and do a quick little size comparison here. I have Duke and Low Light. Um, the helmet is a, probably a little, making him look a little bit taller here. So let's go ahead and take the helmet off. And as you can see, Airborne is a little shorter than Low Light, and it's probably at the same height as Duke. No, Duke is actually taller. So Airborne is a little shorter than all these figures. So there you have it, guys. There is my review of Airborne. I hope you guys enjoyed it. So if you like my videos, hit that subscribe button, hit that like button, it would be greatly appreciated. Thank you all for watching, thank you to all my subscribers, you guys rock, and thanks for watching, Yojo and Cobra!